Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and it's absolutely pouring it down with rain today and it's due to do so for the rest of the day. So I wanted to showcase something indoors. So I have got this. It is the ISDT-BC8S battery checker. Now ever since I started with quadcopters I have been using one of these and that is because when I first started with quadcopters there weren't elaborate on-screen display, certainly not for mini quads anyways, and there also wasn't a voltage alarm buzzer that could feed through beta flight, so I would get one of these and you would plug in your battery balance port and it would tell you the overall voltage and then the individual voltage of each cells. And one problem I found with this is it goes through the screens really quickly and quite often I would miss the overall voltage and have to sit here and wait and if you've got a 5S you could be waiting here for some time. So I don't really use these on the ground that much. I put them on an aircraft and that's great because they're really cheap just 99 pence for one of these and I don't care if it gets lost. I can set the alarm on the top here so I can have it go off, let's just stick it at 3.6 because that should send this one off maybe, there we go, it's very loud as well. But this one, this is a more elaborate version of this, it's more expensive though, this one costs about £15, so I think this one I'm going to keep on my models that don't have an on-screen display and it's going to be fine for an alarm but then this one is going to be better for actually checking my batteries on the ground. So they both support 8S and they both have protection. So if I take my 5S battery here and plug it in, I'm never sure which way around they go in, is it that way? It won't work if it goes in the wrong way around but it should work if it goes in the right way around, there we go. So yeah, this one is more elaborate, so we have got more options and more things that we can do that is more useful for us on the ground and stuff in the air as well if you want to do that. So I plug it in and straight away it's telling me the overall voltage and it's telling me that it's a 5S as well. This up here is the percentage of the battery that's left, it's saying 1 because this is a heavily discharged 5S battery. We have the lowest recorded cell here as well and this can be quite useful if you want to do a flight with this you can see how much the battery has sagged. You have to make sure that you don't unplug it of course when you check that. And then this one here, I think this is an average of all of the cells, so 3.5. Then we've got some various icons down here and those light up depending on which settings that you have got on. So we have the instructions here and it tells me so. The top one here, that is a high voltage alarm, so you can set it up to recognize if a battery has been overcharged, so that's quite good. Then we've got low voltage alarm, which is the same as this one, and then we've got voltage difference alarm. So if you have got a battery and a couple of the cells are way out compared to the rest, then it will also sound an alarm and you can set what that voltage difference is, which is pretty cool. And then we have got a UAV location alarm as well. So if you've been flying around and it notices that your battery has been draining and then it sort of stays in one place, you can set off a UAV location alarm so you can find your lost model. So kind of the settings that you would expect from these on-screen displays and also the low voltage alarms, but not all models have them so you know you can buy one of these and have that on your copter but you can also do that with this as well. And this one's louder as well. It's got louder beepers on it there, bigger ones. So that's why I'm just going to be keeping this on the ground. So we've got two buttons here the bottom one cycles through different screens so we have another screen there and that's our individual voltages as well of, of each cell we've got these little dots here and that is where our alarms are set up there so I can go in and change that. I've actually got two bars here but you can't see it and one of the bars is the lowest recorded voltage so again that's useful for the sagging of a battery if you want to look at that for testing purposes and then the other one is the current 
voltage that we're at. So then if I press it again, just another menu of the individual voltages there and then back to that screen. Then the top one is the menu button. So if we long press that, it goes into a menu and this is where you can select the battery type. So you can do LiPo and then high volt, LiFi, LiOn and then back to LiPo. So I want to keep it on that. Then the next one is the low voltage alarm. So currently set to 3.3 and then over voltage alarm and that changes as well so if you have got a high volt then I think that starts at 4.35 so that's quite good so yeah that's good to see if you've overcharged your batteries there so then if we go over to the next one we have got the voltage unbalance alarm and again you can change the difference down here that's quite a good one and then location alarm so I've got that turned on as well. One minute reminder, so this will beep every one minute and that is good if you're, say, if you want to fly for four minutes or three minutes then you can listen out for the beeps. And then silent operating, so it just turns the beeps off whilst you're searching in the menu there. We can turn the display upside down if you want to do that and then we can change the contrast level of the actual screen as well and change the language and then we are back to there and if you want to save anything then it's a long press on there but what I want to do is just show you the difference in the beeper. It's not going to come across great on the camera but yeah if I go over to the alarm there and then switch that up to 3.6 and then save so this is what happens when the low voltage alarm goes off we also have a flashing light it's loud enough you're gonna find it but as I say I don't think I'm gonna be using it because if I plug this one in and then this alarm is just so much louder so in conclusion, yeah, this is great. I like it. In fact, I've bought another one in case I lose it because, yeah, this is going to be living in my battery bag. And these ones, I'm going to retire them as ground voltage checkers, but I'm still going to be using them in the air because they're very cheap. I would be more bothered if this pinged off at £15 rather than this one at 99p. So there you go, that is my review of the ISDTBC8S. I'll put a link in the description if you wish to get one. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.